hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and do a Friday reads for you guys, and what I just finished reading, because, I don't know, I just don't like the, um, the end of the month wrap up, because I tend to forget to do them. So, the book I just finished is Israel by Pam Funk. Um, I'm not sure I have said her name right, but I am on her street team, which means I get her e-copies mostly of her books and any merch she comes out with. She apparently hasn't come out with any merch yet because I ain't got anything yet, but yeah, I'm on her street team just to be completely honest with you guys. And I gave this one a four stars. The only reason I gave it a four instead of five is because in this book is there's other books in the series and this book ended right where I wanted to know what happened next and so far I don't think she sent me the the other book to this um I don't even know if she's written it yet but this is a Christian fiction book, and so I really liked it, but, um, and if you guys can find it, I really recommend that you, um, pick it up, especially for, like, Elizabeth from, uh, Lizzie Bay Loves Books, I think you would really like this, because it's about a 14-year-old, the boy is 14, and his sister, which is on the cover, is younger than him, and they go um, on adventures in the past um, to, like, the biblical times and like it's just a good book for me anyways so I recommend you guys pick it up if you ever see it now what I'm going to currently be reading until I finish it and over the weekend is Heartbeat by Danielle Still. You guys can't really see me, but you can see the books. Most of them, which is okay by me. I know my lighting sucks, but this is what I'm working with right now. So, um, and the next one I'm working on is. Fair as the Rose, and I just started this yesterday, but, well, I just started this yesterday, and it's by Liz Curtis Higgs, and I am on page, I am on page, uh, chapter 2, page 8. So yeah, I just uh, started this last night, and so far it's pretty good. It's for a book that I just picked up from a uh, used bookstore, or a um, thrift store. It's pretty good. I didn't know if I would like it or not, but so far it's Treating me okay. 
And the last book I have so far, well, I am reading uh, Firefight, which I have put on here. I don't know how many times, but I am still reading that one because I'm just reading that one like in my bedroom at night whenever I feel like it, whenever I have to wait for my husband to get in bed and turn off the light. So I am still reading that one. And I am also reading The Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hammer. This is a library book and um, I am really enjoying it right now. I am on page 81, chapter 18. And like I said, right now I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm not sure how many stars I'm going to give it at this time, but I still have a ways to go before I have to figure that out. So, um, I hope you guys are healthy and safe and that you have plenty of books to hold you over until uh, this virus stuff is over with because I know that most of the things I, well, the one thing I wanted to do this weekend is now canceled because of the um, virus that's going around. Um, there was a library book sale I was going to, but they canceled it because uh, on on request from the governor governor here. So I can't nobody can go to that anymore. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but I still have plenty of books to read. So. Um, until it's like safe to go outside again because my sister has pneumonia and my mom has hepatitis C and I don't really want to risk having to go to Indiana because of them being sick and having to help and getting them sick with the virus that is going around. So, half the time I'm probably going to be stuck in the house all day, so it's a good thing that my reading has really picked up this year. So far I've finished nine books out of 29 of my the goal I set on Goodreads for the uh, beginning of the month, or the, the beginning of the year, sorry. And I hope you guys have plenty of books to read and plenty of stuff to hold you over in case you get sick or in case anything else goes on and they close everything. So, um, Thank you for watching and have a good weekend. Bye.